Saturday. Woo! So, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff to get to because I missed two weeks of questions and challenges. And, so, before, okay, but before I get, <laughs> sorry, before I get to, I have a list, like, right here. So, before I get to the challenges, I just wanted to say that, um, next weekend I'm moving. Sorry, I'm eating right now. Eating right there. So, I'm moving, and I'm hoping that next weekend I can make my video on Sunday, and then whoever's our special guest can make their video on Saturday. Is that okay with you guys? Because Saturday I'm seriously going to be all busy, but I should have time to make it on Sunday. So, that's that. So, let me guys all know what you think. And then, so, and then the whole, before I get to all my channels this week, that whole makeup, um, public challenge, if I, I haven't done it yet, but if I do do it, I will do it when I get back up to Fargo. I'm ser but seriously guys, I'm like the most, it may not seem like it from my videos, but I'm like seriously the most shy, um, shy, um, unassertive, um, a non-outgoing person on the planet when I'm not, when I'm not with my friends. So I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'll try. So Alana wanted to know where our usernames came from. Mine came from, well, Choir Girl. That's self-explanatory. I love choir and have been in choir since I was like, hey, hi. And then, sorry, I have to eat, um, and then, 64 is my favorite number. And then, 39, I just wanted four numbers. There you go. And then, that whole thing about Adina and... Rosemary about Adina and giving her advice. I don't know if giving her advice is the best idea. But definitely, like, definitely send her a gift or something. That would be cool. And then I totally listened to that audio of Carrie Ellis' final performance in Wicked in London. She is amazing. Defying Gravity, oh my gosh. And along as long as you're mine, you guys don't even realize I'm, like, in love with Oliver Thompson. Almost once I heard audio and saw video of him, he's an, he's an awesome Fiero. And, um, and, yeah, I love him. He's the current Fiero in Wicked in London. So I love him. And there's this, there's an audio of him singing As Long As You're Mine with Carrie Ellis. It's like, it's her, it's the, her final one before she went to Broadway because she was in London, went to Broadway, and then came back to London. And so it's her final As Long As You're Mine in London before she went to Broadway. And he does this riff. Oh my god, it's amazing. Go watch it. I'll put a link. I can never remember what side. So, and then Alex wanted to know about habits. I, I can only think of one. But and it's what I don't know everybody else does. But it's it's my biggest and worst habit. I bite my nails. I it's horrible. So and then Alyssa, our special guest, wanted to know embarrassing moment. I can't really think of one right now. But like I've fallen a lot and mm, I've fallen a lot and just done random stuff like that. Yeah. When I was in first grade, I was locked in a bathroom for like 15 minutes on the way to summer camp because we're on a coach bus and the coach buses have those little bathrooms in the back and I, and I couldn't figure out how to undo the lock to get out there. And it was not really embarrassing to me now, but back then it was because I was like seven or eight. And then Alana, your five chances, I totally call the free hug challenge. Free hugs is like the one of the things that I'll, it's like the one, one of the one things I'll do in public. <laughs> Because I love the free hug campaign. And seriously, I've, I watch that free hug campaign video on YouTube all the time. I'll put a link to it in the description box. It is so great. And that people have done, like, free hug stuff at my school. So I always give them all hugs. So I call the free hug challenge. And then... But I, I'll do it when I go back up to school, probably. And it'll get done. And hopefully I'll attach it or do it in another in a future six epic video or whatever. And then the people want me to talk in my video with my tongue hanging out. I'm really glad that I got that talent because the other talents that he has with everybody else, um, was filmed with his sibling. <laughs> I thought he done. 
you know, my sister Carrie, and, um, she's busy, and I also, like, come feed my video, and my brother, Charlie, is, right now, he's in Chicago, and even if he wasn't here, he wouldn't be in my video anyways, so, yeah. So, and I didn't do this for my whole video, because you guys wouldn't be able to understand me. So, yeah. So, I'm reading Wicked right now. You guys, I think that's all the challenges. Okay, before I get to that, I think that's everything except for like the free hug and the makeup one. If I forgot anything, please let me know. And so I'm reading Wicked right now, you guys. I love it. It's so good. I can't believe I I haven't read it till now. But yeah, it's so good. And I have this awesome bookmark. Oh no, I totally lost. I totally lost my page. Ah. So, yeah, so I have this, um, bookmark, it says, it has the Wicked Witch of the West from the movie on it, and then it says, you say wicked like it's a bad thing. I found that when I was, um, going through my stuff in my room to, yeah, to pack, so, so I'm using it to read wicked, because it makes sense, doesn't it? So, that's really all I have to say. Um, oh yeah. I was kind of bummed that Adam Lambert didn't win American Idol, because, you know, he's, he's so unique, and he has like a, he's like a theater person, but I didn't really watch the whole season, so I really don't care. Like, Chris Allen, he was, he had a good voice, too, and, and, you know, they're, and Adam, he was such a gracious loser, and he's fine with it, and I really don't think there needs to be all this freak out about him not winning. You know, he's still, he's still going to have a career, whether it's, I, I, I personally think he's still going to have a career, whether it's in, um, whether it's in, um, the music industry or in the theater world, whatever. So, it's okay, guys. And then, I was really mad when I found out that California didn't, um, didn't overturn Prop 8. I know I shouldn't be, you know, doing going all political and stuff, but it just made me kind of mad because, and, okay, so everybody out there, I totally respect anybody's opinion. You know, I'm not gonna be, like, bashing you if you don't believe what I believe in because that's stupid. But my opinion is that, is that I think that they should have the, like, the gay and lesbian community should have the right to marry because, um, it's not, I just don't think it's fair, like, for example, you know, if you, if you share your life with somebody for years and years, you know, and they're the one that you trust the most in the world, then, um, like, with marriage comes certain rights that unmarried people don't have, like, you know, like, if you're in the hospital, and you, um, you know, somebody who makes, all, like, if you're incapable of making your own medical decisions, and, you know, usually it's a f close family member, or, you know, if you're married, it's your spouse, you know, if, if, it's not fair to, you know, and if, and then the gay and lesbian community, like, unless they're, you know, they can't do that because they can't, in some states they can't marry, you know, they can't have their partner, you know, make medical decisions for them and stuff like that, and I just think it's stupid. I, th I think that, that, you know, we live in a country that we're all supposed to be treated equally, and, you know, it's not. They're not being treated equal, so I think it's stupid, but hopefully soon it'll get changed. So, yeah, that's it. But, like, to everybody to everybody out there, I'm not, like, bat bashing your guys' beliefs. If you, if, you, if but, like, seriously, like, everybody's entitled to have their own opinion. So, just whatever your opinion is, just, if that's what you believe in, then stick with it, you know, then don't let anybody change it. So yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. And I will see you guys next Sunday, hopefully, and I'll give you a tour of my apartment and stuff. That'll be sweet. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!